Ziebe uit Crown November 02 voor Sierra Bravo is ready taxi. November 02 voor Sierra Bravo, runway 07 taxi via Golf. Okay. Runway 07 taxi via Golf, November 02 voor Sierra Bravo. Alright guys, so we are back in VR. In the Piper Comanche, and as you can see, I'm Online using two, four, five, four, five, Beyond ATC, and I have the Thank UI you panel in VR. Okay, I understand you want us, uh, because normally it's on the desktop, and you can't see it in VR, seven, but with FS Desktop, okay. you can use this, uh, this UI panel in VR, which is extremely handy to have, of course. And um, that's the way you can use Beyond ATC in VR. Uh, hopefully they will uh, come with a uh, VR panel from the uh, from Beyond ATC itself. But for now this all works, and I will um, I will show you when we get uh, the beginning of the runway. Just have to taxi uh, taxi out. The chatter you hear, that's from uh, FS, uh, FS Chatter. So that's uh, just random chatter in the background. Ground, Bonetia, United 1856 gate 103, ready for perspective. Because uh, I have the, uh, the basic uh, version of uh, Beyond ATC, that's without the traffic injection yet. But uh, when it's possible for me to upgrade to the uh, developer uh, version, I will do that. But, uh, November I was 2 4 Sierra Bravo, contact VC Botel 118.2. Tower on 118.2, November 02 voor Sierra Bravo. In a minute, Tower will uh, give us a. Uh, Backtrack instruction on the runway, but I can't because I have some trees here on the runway. So we cannot backtrack, but we'll uh, we'll do the departure from uh, from here. All right. So with FS Desktop, let's uh, let's stay here for a while. You can do almost everything in here. Um, it's not an easy click here on the frequencies, but you have to. Hold the button, then release it, and then you can check for the uh, frequencies and click on them. Well, click, hold them for uh, for about a second, and then they will change. Uh, also here, this one, I can hold it, and it goes back. You see. Uh, also for uh, for scrolling, you have to hold it, but uh, it's not. Working. Oh, it's working now. You see, it's scrolling. Also, can go to my uh, option settings, but um, now this this really works okay. I got auto tune radio uh, selected, so I don't have to tune the frequencies myself, and I can keep the uh, the attention to flying the aircraft. So that's uh, basically like having a co-pilot setting the frequency for you, or well, in VR, you know, you know how uh, difficult it is to set the frequencies all the time. You get the picture, right? So this is beyond ATC in VR. So let's uh, ask for takeoff. Uh, let's wait. And so we got the uh, runway 07. That's our heading. Heading 090, 5000 feet, American Airlines. Tower, November 02, Forza Bravo, is ready for departure, runway 07. November 0 to 4, Sierra Bravo, backtrack runway 07. Call when ready for departure. Backtrack runway 07, we'll call you ready for departure, November 02, Forza Bravo. Uh, Alright, so parking brake uh, off, all the lights are set, mixture full rich. Line up for runway 3 right behind that traffic. 
So we're not gonna backtrack. You can see the trees here on the runway. I think I have to remove them myself. Then again, I just wanted to show you the, the uh, Beyond ATC now in VR with the UI panel. Almost fully workable. November 0 2, Force Sierra Bravo is ready for departure on 07. Departure on 121.2. 121.2, American. November 0 to 4 Sierra Bravo, we see Bird Tower, wind variable, fly heading 070, runway 07, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, runway 07. November 0 to 4 Sierra Bravo. Very good. 902 heavy, line up on 3. Alright, so here we go. And we have to climb to flight level 041. Oh, hear that engine. Not really happy, but alright, we'll do it. We'll, we'll work it. Delta 1192 November 0 to 4 Sierra Bravo contact VC bird departure 119 decimal 1 Switching to 119 decimal 1 November 0 to 4 Sierra Bravo. Negative. We see bird departure on 119 decimal 1. Switching to VC bird departure on 119 decimal 1. November 0 to 4 Sierra Bravo. Alright. There we go. VC bird departure November 0 to 4 Sierra Bravo. With you climbing. Flight level 041. November 024 Sierra Bravo, VC bird departure. Identified, climb to flight level 041. Roger, identified and climbing to flight level 041. November 024 Sierra Bravo. November 024 Sierra Bravo, VC bird. Expect a Luba 1, runway 10. Expect Uluba 1, runway 10, November 02, Force Sierra Bravo. November 02, Force Sierra Bravo. Turn left, heading 300. Expect further clearance in about 190 miles. Turn left, heading 300, November 02, Force Sierra Bravo. November 02, Force Sierra Bravo. Contact Pianco Radar 123.7. Switching to Piaco Radar on 123.7, November 02, Force Sierra Bravo. Negative, Piaco Radar on 123.7. You didn't understand me. Switching 123.7, November 02, Force Sierra Bravo. There we go. Piaco Radar, November 0 to 4 Sierra Bravo. November 0 to 4 Sierra Bravo. Piaco Radar, Roger. Alright, so... Altitude engaged. Oops. Disengaging, we have to climb a little bit more to flight level one. Here we go. And now altitude engage. Uh, 
and set the power. Clean the engine. Alright, so that was take off from uh, VC Bird. Tango uh, Alpha Papa, Papa Alpha with Beyond ATC. And you heard me switching all the time. I can have a glance here on the uh, on the UI panel. Uh, sometimes it didn't understand me, but I think that's maybe because of my uh, my accent or my pronunciation in English, or the microphone of the uh, HP Reverb, which normally is quite good. But uh, yeah, I think it's my pronunciation that it doesn't understand me sometimes correctly. Also have the flight here in the uh, all-in-one panel with uh, Navigraph. So if I can't find the frequencies, I can use Navigraph to find the frequencies. And this is really um, great for flying in VR with Beyond ADC. Because if you can't get the panel in uh, in VR, well, then you just have to listen. That also works. But it's always nice to have this uh, available. So if I click on this one again, it will change. I got the ADIS for uh, Fiji Bird International, and I got even more frequencies to change. The center icon, so I know already which frequencies um, I probably will get. I have to hold the cross for a second and then it will change back. So it's, you only have to press the uh, the click spot on the UI panel for about a second, two seconds and then release the button on your mouse and it will change. So with FS Desktop, which isn't free, um, you can use Beyond ATC in VR probably will get vectors to the uh, to our track but um, oh, I would just got a big stutter but that's probably because uh, I don't know what it's a beta version so sometimes it does this All right you just saw this um, FS desktop I will leave the link for Evers Desktop in the description below the video. Uh, it's a very handy tool to have in VR. You can bring anything that you have on your desktop, any window, into VR. And um, I'll use it all the time. It's uh, very nice. And the, uh, the all-in-one tablet, of course, is also a nice one to have. You can also use the um, uh, Little Nav Map VR, which is free. And this one costs a little bit of money as well, but it's got so many things in it. And oh, didn't show the icons, but it's really uh, a very handy tool to have, especially with the Navigraph integration. Hi guys, so that was it. This is the how you can use Beyond ADC in VR with the UI panel. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. This was Mike Fertisim. Hope to see you soon in the next video. And uh, do some more with uh, Beyond ATC. Alright, bye for now. And uh, take care.